Hey, I'm Jason from the Cub Scouts. Welcome to a game called the McMillan Tree Lot. Now, this is another game by Zed Technician, which is interesting because I just played another game called, like, the Fairview Files, where you have to, like, dig graves so you can find your car keys that a ghost took while you were passing by the cemetery. So, Zed Technician released back-to-back -back games. This is the other one, and we are going to check it out right now. If you guys cool with that, down with that. Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go! Should you ever find yourself near the outskirts of town, the McMillan tree lot is assuredly not far from being found. It's closed for the warmer months, so don't even bother making the drive. But as the nights grow cold, this place suddenly comes alive. Okay, Dr. Seuss. Hey, thanks a lot for giving me such a good deal on this tree. Once it's been chopped into firewood, my family will be as warm as can be. I see, everybody rhymes in this bitch. You're very welcome, Mr. Boyd, and I've still got plenty left on the lot. If you ever need another one, you know just the spot. You always have the best firewood in town, and never get low. I'll be sure to tell Jasmine and the kids you said hello. So thanks again, Cynthia. Now I'd better get going. I need to make it home before it starts snowing. <laughs> Hall in hand, Lang departed into the night. Once the wood was added, his fireplace indeed shone extra bright. Cynthia watched as he left, the second to last customer to leave her lot. But her last customer had still yet to be sought. She remembered that another soul had entered the lot and yet knew he had not departed. It wasn't uncommon for most to become lost as a large portion of that lot still remained uncharted. I'll grab Miss Reliable from the shack and then head in. And so she steeled herself for what was to come for her struggle was only just about to begin. I feel like I'm reading you all a bedtime story and hopefully you all are tucked in Ready to go to sleep because is this misreliable? My trusty shotgun was here when I first bought this lot. Let me down, it certainly has not. I'm not sure what strange things the McMillans were up to in their past, but this weapon has endless rounds and I will shoot them in that ass. The word space is engraved into the trigger and the letter R is upon the base. I know that it will protect me as I journey deeper and I'm damn well gonna shoot somebody in the face. Let's go, Miss Reliable. You never let me down. Is that a futon? I fuck with futons. Sometimes futons are more comfortable than beds. I can't explain it, but I got the chook chook. So you better get these trees before I put you in the soot. I don't even know what that means. I feel like soot means dirt, right? But I'm just gonna see if I can find whoever's in this lot. Because once I find them, I'm gonna turn them into a thought. I need to stop rhyming, because that doesn't even make sense. But what makes sense is- OH! Who the fuck is that guy? Okay, I, I was trying to shoot that guy. Hi. Hey, hi. How are you? Never mind. Alright, so these nutcrackers are here. And they certainly look scary. But the only nutcrackers I have are sure gonna be hairy. Before Cynthia stood a very, very familiar place. Though identical to her home, she knew all too well the tricks employed within this space. In times past, the way forward was revealed after crossing the threshold of the door. Undoubtedly, this trick would work again, just as it had once before. I have no idea what I just read, but I'm here, bitches! Wait. Whoa! <gasps> oh. So it repeated. Oh, shit. Okay, so what do I do? Cynthia readied herself as she knew the real challenge lied ahead. The decorations she'd bought long ago had been turned against her and now wanted her dead. The lot's strange nature enabled it to control things made from wood. And when the lights went out, she knew getting close to the wooden soldiers would not end good. You mean the nutcrackers? All right, so, oh! Okay, I have my shotgun. That's all that matters, right? Okay, get away from me. Holy crap. Okay. So every time the lights go out, what? Do I just... The fuck? The fuck? Dude! I was about to say! I'm about to blast that ass! I'm not playing no more. No more rhymes. Let's go. No more rhymes. Go, 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 go. Woo! Come on, baby! What does that mean? I don't get it. What if a nutcracker was taking a fat shit in my toilet? Who's that? There's nothing there. 
just as I expected. It can't copy mirrors, so my face will never be reflected. Okay? <laughs> I have no idea what you mean. I don't get how this game works. But you know what? I just gotta keep an eye on all the nutcrackers. What's up? What's up? Hey! Shoot him! There you go. Come on. I'm not wasting any ammo, baby. I'm doing my thing. Dude's right behind me. Oh, yeah. Shoot that ass. Come on. How do I shoot? Oh, space. Duh! My bad, dude. Alright. So, anyway, I just started blasting. Let's get to it, everybody. Boom! <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, back shots. Oh, God. You thought... Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Out here just bodying people. Body bag season. Body bag season. Let's go. Who wants more? This is like a buffet. Everybody can get some. Yeah. That's what I thought. That's it? Did I not do it right? What is going on? I'm confused, dude. You know what? Maybe I have to kill all the nutcracker dudes. I think that's what it is, everybody. I'm being dumb. Oh, look at this guy. Get his ass. You think shit's really sweet out here? You think shit is really sweet out here? Oh, uh, no rhyme for that. Just bullets. Just blasting! What? What? Huh? What do you think this is? You think I'm playing these Dr. Seuss games? I'm not rhyming. I'm out here blasting. Come here. Bop! Oh, shit. Hold on. Bop! There you go. How to do a lowercase bop. How to kill him in lowercase. What do you think this is, huh? What, 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 do you, what do you think this is? I need to calm down. I feel like I'm going like serial killer mode. Who wants that two for one special? No biscuit. Oh, you thought. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Come on. No. Bro, did he really do that? Did he really try it? Sometimes they try it, right? Hold on. Hold on. Oh. Anybody back there? Nobody back there. Did I do it? Can I get a rhyme? Oh! Alright, so I am progressing. There's like a giant red moon. Big ass red moon. I mean, obviously, you all can see. Like, what am I talking about? Why am I explaining things that you can see on the screen? Just like that long ass tree. That long, erect, scary ass tree. You're dead. Oh shit. Oh! Bro inhaled me. The silent night air was pierced by a sickening crack. The lot had finally taken Cynthia, and I just said, what the fuck was that? All right, so we are back at this giant red moon, and I am about to do my thing, everybody. Let's see what we got going on here. Who's back here? Who wants problems? I got problems, and her name is Miss Reliable. Look at that. Boom! I have a sniper shotgun or something. Relax. Relax! You hear me? Big old bug eye freak! I said relax! Before I pull one between your teeth! Look at this sniper. Sniper gang. Oh shit. What's up? I heard somebody talking shit back here. Yeah. That's what I thought. They didn't know that I was running this parking lot. Or whatever this is called. This is something. Look at that. That's something. Who wants this? Who wants this? Oh yeah, you want this? Okay. He told me you wanted it. Honestly, everybody. Oh, shit. Die. Look at this guy marching all proper and classy but sassy. This is insane. How long is this lot? This King Kong Dong Long. What? Huh? What? Bro, really thought it was sweet. So, this guy takes two back shots. That's kind of crazy, no? Taking some wild buck shots? I misspoke. I guess I got some, some, some things on the brain. Some things on the old, the old thinker. As they always say. I don't know who says that. Somebody says that. I see somebody. Motherfucker. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> what is going on here? What the fuck is this? Uh. Oh, wait. You're a real person. My bad. Hey, wake up. You really need to snap out of this trance. We both have to get out of here while we still have the chance. What the fuck? Well, I don't know how I got here. If I'm gonna be completely frank, my head spinning in the last few hours are complete blank. Everything's a blur, and I'm not sure what I would have done without you. But someone's been calling my name, and I think this tree might just be who. Did that even rhyme? What are you, by the way? 
You look like half camel, half butterfly. You're not the first person to wander in here, and doubt you'll be the last. This thing's called a Gretel tree, and they thrive in places with a dark, dark past. It was here when I bought the place, and it calls to people in the night. But worst of all, these trees only sprout up from soil that was once a mass grave site. Cynthia knew the hardest part of their escape still had yet to be done. And so she uttered only a single word, and that word was... RUN! Oh, God! Uh, let me hide behind you. You seem very calm and, and proper. Can we just go? Are you gonna do anything? No? Okay, come on, dude's walking with his hands in his pocket like shit's really sweet out here? Come on, dude. Like, really? I'm out here saving your life. And you being a little bitch right now. Sniper shot! Oh god! Go, go, go! Ah, oh, fucker! Oh! Come on, come on, come on. Fuck! Turn your head, bitch! Come on. Let's go. Let's go. We got this. Bro, why are my hands sweaty for no reason? Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Sniper gang. Girl's walking really fast. Really fast and sassy. Okay. Ooh. You got him. Are you right behind me? Look at that. Oh. Dude don't even know how hard I'm saving his life. Oh! What the heck, man? Why is that bitch just walking? You got him. You want some? Yeah, you want problems? I got problems. I got many problems. What do you want? Financial problems? Marital problems? I got all of them. Let's get it. Who wants it? Who wants it? You want it? You got it. If you want it, you got it, buddy. I'm a giver. I'm a giver. I'll give you these. I'll give you these shots if you really want them. What? Stop dead in your tracks. Ugly? Yeah, what do you think you're going to do about all this? Ugly? Right behind me, too. Oh! It's like that! I'm like that! Oh shit, right behind me. Come on, I'm sweating on my underboob. Kinda. It's kinda freaky. It's kinda freaky and it's kinda zeeky. Oh! Uh, come on, buddy. One more? For the homie DJ screw? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. That kinda got me sweaty for no reason. Let's see what rhyme they're cooking up this time. Thank you for your help, and I really mean it truly. I probably owe you my life, and for that I will never be able to repay you duly. I'd better get out of here before anything else goes wrong. Hopefully we can meet again under better circumstances before too long. Yeah, get out of here, dude. That was weak. Those were weak-ass bars. And without another word, he made his leave. There's no doubt after that night, he had quite the tale to weave. Sometimes I wonder if owning this place is worth it, giving that danger is always near. But I wouldn't have it any other way. And I'm already looking forward to next year. <laughs> Yay. And thus was the end of the story. I am very, very sorry. I made that rhyme and you can't say that I didn't. You know what, everybody? We are going to play one more game of today's episode because the first one was so short and I like you. I really like you. This game is called Forest Ranger Services. The Forest Ranger Services are based on real life events and personal accounts of hikers. The narrative has been altered for entertainment purposes. There are thousands of missing reports filed each year in the US national parks. Many cases remain unexplained. Indi wow! I thought I could skip it once I'm done reading. What the fuck? You are a wannabe. What the f It was time to get serious about your career. You applied for a job as a forest ranger to get a first-hand account of the disappearances. Couldn't even let me finish it. I couldn't even read the period in that sentence. God damn. All right. Maybe I should have just... Okay. So what do I have? A handheld camera? Because it's kind of staticky. It's kind of spooky, I'm not even gonna lie to you. But I've heard about a lot of missing cases in like national parks and stuff. Oh God. Can I run? I'm just gonna run. What the heck? I don't like this. Am I looking for Bigfoot or something? I think I found them, I think they found me. Whoa! Cool. 
Hey there, night crawlers. There was just a random man standing in the middle of buttfuck nowhere. Five, where the news takes a walk on the wild side. I'm your man in the shadows, Mike Stone. Have okay. you guys heard about these missing hikers? All over our national parks. This isn't something you hear about anymore. At least they're driving but smooth. Check out these stats. Or maybe I'm just making it smooth. Because I got skills service, like that. Around you understand? I got the skills that pay the bills, baby. What does exclamation mark mean on a road sign? Yellowstone, Cascades, uh, the fuck? All kinds of reports of missing people. Where am I going? The numbers are massive. Oh, random yeah, gas there, station, of course. One of course, that's where we're going. Days in the woods. Couldn't recall basic details about 98 cents? How they got right, wrong. this must be a dream, because ain't no way. Now, folks, where can I get gas for 98 cents? Incidents. Should I pull up? Oh, hey, I did that. I pulled up right to it, too. Usually when the camera's like that, that means somebody's watching you. Directors of movies do that on purpose to make it feel like somebody's out there being watched. But let's go in the quick and go. That's what I said to your mom. Hi. <laughs> you two don't look suspicious as fuck. Can we have a dialogue? Nope. What about you, sir? Evening. What can I get you? Just grabbing some supplies. I'm a new ranger in the area. Another one, huh? You guys are a dime a dozen. What's that supposed to mean, fuck boy? There's a new guy here just about every other month. Some people just don't last out in the woods. It can get a bit creepy, you know. No, I don't know. Educate me. All right. Well, that's it. Is that all we're doing? Okay. <laughs> can I at least go to the bathroom? No, that was a long drive. Why are you looking over your shoulder? Huh? Do you want me to punch you in between the eyes? I'm out of here. I'm done, everybody. I guess we just pulled up there to have a conversation with this man. And then that's it. That Recent random. reports from the search and rescue teams highlight a puzzling trend. A significant number of those who are located after going missing in the wild often exhibit strange mental conditions. We're talking about disorientation. Something about these twigs uh, on the road. Memory loss. And in some cases... Bro, imagine that guy is in my backseat. Should I look? Uh, I can't even see! I can't even see! What the fuck? Rescuers and medical professionals <laughs> oh, crap. But I'm not gonna look. Disappearances just don't make any sense. You got experienced hikers, uh, forest workers, lumberjacks, and even rangers. Just about five percent. The missing persons cases in national found. parks is interesting, though. Is this the um, same place? Go missing without any trace. Wait, did I just go in a loop? I did. Wait a minute. Wait a second. What is going on here? It's the same person too, but it's a little darker, and it's a little spookier. Looks like something you're looking for is missing. Yeah. I'm missing the fucks I give. Because I don't give any. A suitcase with documents about missing people. That guy looks like Mulder from X-Files. Are you? Please, the truth is out there. I don't know what he meant by that, though. What am I looking for? New ranger, huh? They come and go like the wind. Whispering pines play tricks. You'll find. I'm just gonna ignore the fact that this dude was also rhyming just like the people from the last game. But it says, I think I'm lost. Can you help me out with some directions? Lost a hiker recently. Vanished in the woods. Swallowed whole. Happens more than you'd ever be told. I wanna get swallowed whole. Been here a while. Seen the faces change. Rangers like you. Their stories rearrange. Something in these woods. Something strange. The fuck? Is it a trend to start rhyming everything you say now? Good luck, Ranger. The forest's a maze. It knows who stays and who decays. Bro, I'm out of here. This shit's way too weird. He's looking a little more buff than usual, though. I think I'm gonna loop around, and then he's gonna be there again. What is that? That is... 
Oh, it's just a crush can. That is so freaking random! What is up with this game? People you rhyme it for no reason, too. Head are getting louder. Whoa, yeah, Mike! They're whispering your name! <laughs> Buckle up. <laughs> <laughs> There's this hiker, What the fuck? The search and rescue teams finally found him. It was a scene. <laughs> the hiker that literally made me jump out of my chair. Bro, I literally he bounced my ass on that jump scare. That's crazy. 2024 jump scares are different. I literally bounced my ass in my chair and jumped a little bit. And I liked it for some reason. That's the weirdest part. I should have realized, though, that the thing was going to repeat because I I said, how come there was like a question mark symbol on the road? And then I passed by it again, but I thought maybe, you know, the game developer was just like, fuck it, let's just put it again. But now we pass by it a third time and it makes sense. This whole thing is repeating. There can't be three quick and go gas stations and dudes just standing there menacingly. Oh crap. Okay, well let me pull up and let me pull out my gun in my glove box. Cause shit's not really sweet out here, dude. I'm the wrong ranger. I'm a power ranger, baby. I'm about to whoop that ass. What are you doing? Just standing in there in the dark. Huh? In shadows deep where trees entwine. A mystery unfolds, a tale malign, through tangled woods where whispers soar. Lost are hikers, seen no more. Answer the call on the forest breeze. Each ring, a step closer, unravel the twine. Find the hikers lost, where the shadows align. Well, are you gonna pick it up? What the fuck are you talking about, dude? Huh? What are you talking about, bro? Hello? Oh. Whoa. Cool. It's kind of just like a different environment that just makes your senses wake up. Because everything was so dark in that dream or whatever that was. But... Cozy, rustical stove. Nobody talks like that. Power sex. Do you read me? I Over. read you. So, how was your first night? It was pretty interesting. I had a nightmare. That's my dad. Um, shouldn't tell you creepy stories on your first day. So, that was made up, right? Actually, no. One of the guys overheard it down at the station. Pretty weird, right? Say you're joking. Say it was a joke. That was it. Forest Ranger Services, the pilot. I was walking my dog Buddy in the forest one evening. I decided to explore a path I didn't know much. Buddy likes to run around on his own. I lost track of him. He usually comes back in about a half an hour or so. Suddenly I had this urge to look at something on the ground. As I crouched down to look at the ground just out of the corner of my eye, I saw a man in a red sweater standing in front of me. That's creepy. When I looked up at his face to say hello or something like that, he disappeared. Why do I have the chills? I freaked out a little bit and quickly started making my way back home on the same path I got there. I stopped and looked around for Buddy as I turned back to continue home. Right in front of me, there was a severed deer leg neatly placed on the forest path. I had not been down that path since. Please tell me you got the dog back. Please tell me you found Buddy. PLEASE TELL ME YOU FOUND BUDDY! YOU CAN'T DO THAT TO ME! YOU CAN'T JUST SAY THAT YOU LOOKED FOR THE DOG AND THEN THE DOG WAS NEVER FOUND AGAIN! FUCK THAT! Alright everybody, but that is gonna do it for this episode of these two little random games that I found. Hopefully you all enjoyed this episode though. If you did, make sure you give this video one BIG FAT LIKE! And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that DUDE!